so if you're like me, you're trying to grind for tons of zombie trophies. And there's probably some strats out there that definitely work on farming zombies, uh, specifically at night with the chase um, mechanic, because obviously that's where uh, the zombies will, the running zombies that drop the trophies will infinitely spawn as long as you keep the chase going. Well, Dying Light 2's endgame can be quite brutal because you need a ton of materials to get the upgrades like these um, to just, you know, get uh, just a few upgrades to get it to different rarities. And obviously getting these infected trophies can be quite difficult, especially trying to get hundreds of them to get every single upgrade. So... In this video, I want to show you a strat that's been working very well for me that's both hilarious and safe. Uh, only downside to this one, which I'll so show you two uh, strats that I do, is this one's not very good at farming volatiles, which uh, I'll explain in a moment. But uh, basically, let me show you where I am on the map, first of all. Uh, this is the first one. This is the one that's... Uh, stress-free, a lot safer, and you still get a lot of trophies, and it's very easy to do. So, I am over here in the map. Uh, this is the fisheye, just to kind of give you a generalization on where I am, and I am right here. So, uh, just remember this little beam right here, and this little air vent, the, those are the most important things uh, to kind of like notice where you are. Um, there might be some of those spitter zombies over here, too. You might as well kill those so they don't become a problem. But you go over here, annoy this zombie, you get the chase started, you go up here with your paraglider, and then you're just gonna sit here. Now, this works with, um, the UV light, but if you didn't get the frying pan, I would recommend getting the frying pan. And I'm gonna show you exactly why in just a moment. This strat is hilarious. Uh, so sometimes they might bump each other up, but then, you know, if they don't, you just hit them with the frying pan as they jump at you. Now, you want to ensure that the chase keeps going, so sometimes you might want to, like, keep a zombie here with you. That's why the frying pan's amazing, until maybe another one spawns. There you go. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, here, I'll show you with the UV light. It's a little bit annoying to look at, but it works, see? You can work on that too. It just flinches them and they fall. And sometimes they'll make each other fall off, which is hilarious. But yeah, you won't really take much damage. Uh, you won't have to deal with a lot of uh, making sure that you have a lot of healing items to do this because it is very easy. But yeah, if you ever have the chase reset, you just go down, back down there, and you, you start up again. And uh, yeah, so to ensure that the chase level is still going is like i said maybe at least have one zombie that's up here and then you can push them down very easily when you don't need them but <laughs> when there's a lot of zombies just do this and it works it's great <laughs> get down so if you're somebody that just kind of wants the trophies like the rare the uncommon ones this is a very great strat to do it especially if you have the frying pan because it's hilarious but it works with the uv light as well if you want to do it that way um like i mean you could you could kick them too or hit them if they grab onto this uh they they normally just go this direction but sometimes they might sneak behind you i had a few times where they they would sneak uh behind me but it's a very rare uh kind of thing to happen uh you will also have zombies that sometimes will be up here too so take those out too uh before you start doing this but the reason why this strat isn't really good for volatiles if you want to farm those is because the volatiles well they don't really flinch as well <laughs> so uh there's that and plus the fall damage doesn't really do much to them so you're just going to get overwhelmed and it's not going to be a a good time so don't don't do this with for the volatile strat but yeah just to show you exactly what you do when the chase ends again you just jump down here get this howler's attention or any of them uh they're normally very close you run back over here fly up here and you just stay right here and then you just wait 
And then you just keep doing this. <laughs> but yeah, see? See how, like, one of them got behind? It rarely happens, but it can happen. So you just, yeah, get down. Look at all these. All of those. That is just, like, half the night just doing this. And you end up with a lot of this. Very easy. Less risk. You don't have to constantly heal or use your weapon. Uh, it's a very good strat. But the other one that I'm going to show you is a little bit riskier. And you probably will need some good weaponry to do this. Uh, but it's a great way also to get some volatiles, uh, the unique trophies. But as I said, it's a lot riskier. And I'll show you exactly why in just a moment. All right. So now I'm going to show you the second strat. The not so stress-free and a lot more chaotic strat, but it works. So you want to go to this safe zone uh, right next to the bazaar, uh, a little bit more uh, north. And you want to be at this bridge. Now, uh, what you're going to want to do is kind of like stay in the middle here and attack any zombies that come this way. Uh, if you get in trouble, that's what back here is for. This is where the, the got the UV lights a lot more safer and you can end the chase very easily this way. But yeah, if you're going to go and do this strat, I would recommend having a very good weapon on hand to be dealing with this because my goodness gracious, if you want to go for volatiles, they are not nice at all. And I'll show you in just a bit. Yeah, you want to jump down here Get the attention of uh, the zombie. Want to climb your way back up and make your way to the bridge and be right in the middle. Now, the the best strat for you to do is probably use the UV light because every time you uh, flash it, well, if it's fully upgraded at least, uh, it will stun them. But in this uh, in this tutorial. Um, I'm gonna just use my frying pan and my weapon. But we're gonna get it to chase level four, and I'm gonna show you exactly how chaotic this can be. But it is a very good way to get volatiles, just very chaotic. <laughs> that body. But yeah, as you can see, I'm pretty, I'm getting attacked by a lot of them at, at once, and it gets way worse when the volatiles come through. So it's not as safe as the other one where you make them fall down and you don't really have to deal with them <laughs> as as close and personal so if it ever calms down just come back out here and uh get the attention of the zombie as best you can and we're at chase level three all right so now this is where things get a little bit crazier because there should be at least i would say one volatile at a time oh there you are now, I'm not going to use my UV light because I don't want to be spamming that in your screen, but it's best if you use a UV light for this. But in this case, I'm not doing that right now, but yeah, like you could just keep hitting them. And in this case, whoa, and if you fall down, which does happen sometimes, you got to climb your butt back up there as best you can while also keeping calm. And that's the that's the key key point is staying calm. So once you get yourself back on the bridge, it's just going to be, once again, oh, dealing with this. You're going to be still having to deal with the volatile, obviously. But, and there we go, off the bridge again. <laughs> Very good reminder, don't be like me. Oh, good. So we just got the chase level four. This is where things get... Very, very, very bad. Here comes tons of volatiles. So this is two, but sometimes you may deal with maybe, I don't know, like four, maybe six at a time. But this is where, like, this is where I said it's a lot more stressful. And yeah, you do get volatiles and you can possibly kill some, but you're probably going to have to use a decent amount of healing to stay alive doing this strat too. Oh my god, yeah. Like, And sometimes they will flank to the right instead of going on the bridge. So you want to back up over here. A uh, little bit of safety. Take your healing. 
and get back into the fight. But because I have a very powerful weapon, this is, uh, it's not as bad. And I do have some healing regeneration inhalers, which is also good. But even with that, this is, uh, well, it's the opposite of the first strat, where it's calming, relaxing, and you get lots of loot that way. You get a lot of loot in this one. Quite a lot. But, yeah. This is, as you can see, this is very risky. Um, you could try this at home if you want, but I would recommend going the funny, non-stressful strat that I made, uh, earlier. But this one works. It sure does. Oh boy, does it work sometimes. Especially if you have this, my shocky stick, um, katana. Like, yeah. Now, you may be asking yourself, what do you do if it gets way too hectic? Well, just back up, go into here, and just have them run away. May take a while. They can still sometimes jump at you. Yeah, just be just be uh, wary of that. Oh, God. But um, in most cases, they kind of just keep to themselves and they don't do anything. Don't do anything. I said don't do anything. Go away. I said go away. Oh, hold on. Let me just kill you. Whoa! Okay, yeah. Now, that was very risky. I'm just going to back up. End the chase. That was very quick because they were already all gone. And then, have at. Go and loot. But, yeah, as I said, a lot more riskier. But, you, you can walk away with some unique trophies, for sure, if you have the right weaponry. Uh, regardless, if you found this video informative, uh, make sure you subscribe, uh, hit the bell, and like the video. Comment um, if you think that this strat works, or if not. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, I do upload other videos, including Dying Light 2 videos, funny little montages and everything like that. So, yeah, feel free to subscribe. And uh, make sure you loot the, the bottom of here, too, when you get the chance. But sometimes you might actually start another chase, like what I just did. But yeah, make sure to subscribe and stay up! And don't die like I did. Stay alive.